Uh, hello and greetings. I uh, I figure I might as well do a day vlog, considering all the noise, and uh, I'm not going to be able to sleep while I'm all the stuff is going on. So I'll just talk about a little bit about my room. Um, I've opened my window, which is back through here. Oh. Hello. This is where my window is. So I've opened the window. It's really nice air today. Uh, otherwise, it's pretty shut. Um, so I've been in the apartment now I got about a year. There's my room. Uh, audio system. And then everything is curtains and soft material. So it's actually pretty, pretty dead in here. Let's do this. There's a little bit of an echo, say, if I come in this space because of the... I don't know if that shows up in the video. It's really audible here. Anyways, so that's turned out really well. But here's my issue. So this is the bedroom. All done up nice. Very nice. And directly across the hallway... I have access to the bathroom, which I'm not going to show. And then the hallway here, this is the main uh, building hallway. And um, I'll get close to the front door in a second. And the other windows I have all covered up because of the sun makes everything really hot. So outside, as you can hear, maybe. I have airplanes fly overhead because this is the airport pathway and then right outside there's a garden that's there and then every week or so they have landscaping so landscaping makes some noise all the time and not in like a make some noise the party way and then right outside the hallway on this side we have the elevator. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Uh, anyways, so the elevator is right across the hallway. The garbage room is actually uh, across the hallway the other way. So, anyways, I get landscape. Yeah, I, I, this is like a complete mess. I haven't done really anything with this room since I moved in a year ago because I've had lots and lots of complaints with noise and issues. So that's basically my living room. I can tell that all of my effort was put into my bedroom because that's where I hang out. And this is just the storage space, which is ridiculous. Oh yeah, they're uh, right, right here, right across the hallway from me. They're pulling cabling for the fire alarm system right now, and if it's not the guys running cable for fire alarms, I apparently pest controls in the building, which is good, because I heard, I've already heard rats running across my bathroom ceiling, which is right here in this space. Right across in the top, and then underneath there, there's like access for plumbing. So across this whole ceiling here, and you can see there's a little bit of bubbling right here, and then a little bit of bubbling there, and then straight across there's access to a conduit outside. So they run pipes all the way across here, and they access the hallway. So up until recently, that was an open hole and the rats were running from inside the apartment, outside the apartment to the hallway. And they sealed that hole, but I don't know how many other holes there are. So since I'm awake and they're pulling these fire alarm cables, um, updating the signal, the guys are updating the elevator. So landscaping's always here. You can hear I'm right inside my door. You can hear how much noise there is. So just people talking and 
So I have to seal up this door, obviously. That's what I wanna do. Seal up that crack all the way around as best as possible. Sorry. I already tried, but it, it apparently it's not working. So I seal the door. Uh, I tried to seal up pretty much everywhere else. Um, my bedroom being like right here, right against that wall, my neighbors are on that side. On this side, thank God, there's like nothing else over here. So I'm planning on moving my bedroom, my bed sleeping area here. So that, oh yeah, these guys are pulling the cables in the hallway. Yeah, um, so I'm planning on moving the bed there so it's a, away from the hallway wall. It's outside, it's not, you know. And then in this space, this will be my open area. Now, I haven't completely decided. Maybe you guys can comment. This is like a 10 and a half by what will be a 14. So, like, to this edge because I can put, like, a wall across here. So, I still have a hallway to walk. So, I can put false wall here and use all of that space for would you think it would be better as moving my gaming theater studio into this space so that I'm away from neighbors except for upstairs or would the larger space be good for like two channel casual listening when friends come over that kind of thing I can just sit down and kind of entertain not like anybody's ever been here uh, a lot of people don't show up to my space yet but yeah, I'm thinking about <clears throat> changing things up a little bit, using the spaces differently. Because right now, obviously, like I said, this room is pretty much dialed in. You can hear the sound in here is much different. My voice is not echoing nearly as much. Everything is pretty much dialed in. Uh, it is really just testing grounds because ideally, if I move the system, I won't have the desk. I'm going to change the computer around the theater arrangement as well as two channel might stay because I like listening to music while I'm playing my games but like I said my neighbors are right here on this side wall I work a night shift which is already hard enough I don't need to hear like bathroom noise through this wall and then all the other hallway noise that's right there so if I move my bedroom to that other space I will have distance to play with uh, right now this is all set up just rough there's not really any cable management done it's just dialed in to wiring and function as long as it functions well then I know how to plan it for my next room so that's what I'm using this space for so I could easily move all of this to the other space and leave this for like a walk-in closet because my clothes is here I can still leave like a wardrobe here leave like a workshop that kind of thing um, and just make the other space a little more livable. I can move the dressers and the drawers so I have more floor space. Uh, obviously there won't be a bed, so there will be more space that way. So I can move all this stuff to the other room. And again, the front will be different because there won't be a desk. There will be just the three, three tower speakers, maybe your projection screen. And then the rest of the space will be open with like lounge chairs, uh, rugs on the floor, stuff like that. So that's what I want, a bit of an opinion. I mean, do I move all of this stuff over here, theater and all, or do I leave the bigger space just two channel listening only and then just leave this as the gaming studio, uh, add more sound insulation, things of that nature. The, the issue is if I'm up late at night, I don't want to disturb my neighbors on that side. Up above, there's a bedroom as well. So if everybody's sleeping in the same quarters, I've got my bedroom and gaming and then someone's bedroom and then someone's bedroom. It's not very neighborly of me and you don't see clips anywhere. Uh, it's not very neighbor neighborly of me to be gaming really late night in this space with people sleeping right here. So I wanted to move everything here so that way it's protected by this wall there's no neighbors on that side obviously that's outside with all of the landscaping noise that I talked about let's check this out yeah so like I said landscaping noise the fire detect fire system is being upgraded the elevators being upgraded pest control sometimes in here 
the regular noise from the hallway. Yeah, it's not a good time to be trying to sleep at night. Um, so anyways, I have a lot of storage issues. Um, it's one box there for the Sonus Fobbers, my Denon box, uh, some other junk that's down here. I have a lot of tools to put away, a lot of cabling that I'm going to use. Some wood supplies that I'm going to use for like a false wall across here as well. So this will be closed from about here upwards to the window, to the wall. A little sweat drop from, uh, never mind. Um, so I want to close this off too from the kitchen. Get some like fireproof material here so the stove, you know, that kind of thing. So I just want to close that up, let my sleeping area there, my listening gaming area here, I'll clean it up quite a bit. Might not be as black. I mean, not everybody's into black. But then again, like theater listening, you want it dark because of theater and viewing. And I want to have a nice presentable space for two channel as well. So I have to think about how to do it. I'm still leaning in that direction because I want to be nice to my neighbors and also like distant away from everything that kind of way and then leave all this stuff for the the spare room. Maybe I can do two channel in here so I'm only like listening during the day and just demoing that kind of thing and then leave the gaming studio in, in here. Pardon me. Yeah, that's that's my conundrum now is the noise and I don't know what to do about everything else but I have the opportunity to kind of like make something of this apartment and I never did a tour of the system which I will leave for another but this is the newest addition really is the height channels and I use these like support beams rods they're expandable they have this like clutch system um, I use those for my height channel mounting they're not as close to the ceiling as I could get but that works for now. I did a live video talking about them a little bit more in detail. So that's great for now because if I want to move them, I can just adjust their positions, just loosen the tension and move them into a different spot. No, it's no problems. The back of the room, same thing. They're all at the same height from the ceiling. They're a little boxy right now because they are in really close proximity to all the boundaries um, stuffed in the corner. So that's not really great. But they sound okay. I'm getting an, enough sound from them. I'm getting height effects. Um, they were separated enough from the bookshelf while well, basically center channel turned on its side. So I'm getting pretty good sound there. Separation's about four and a half feet, four feet. 30 degrees, as you would call it. Uh, I could move them up. I mean, that's those brackets are not really difficult to move. It really is just an L bracket. It's not very bright there. Um, it's just an L bracket that's attached on the side and then secured to the pole in the back. Um, the wiring is all zip tied down the back and then it runs all the way to the front. So yeah, that's that's what's going on. Um, I'd like some feedback on what you think of the spaces. If you have any questions, definitely ask me. I need to be making a lot more original content. I'm not quite at a thousand subscribers on YouTube, but they're not going to appreciate all of the different copyright infringed songs that I have on there. So my content is going to have to change. Uh, I hate editing, so don't expect a whole lot of editing done on my system videos. Honestly, I just want to be able to talk with people, provide some sort of insights, um, some information on what I've done in, in my system. If it helps anybody else, then cool. That's what I'm here for. I'm not a videographer. I don't anticipate really being a brand rep or an ambassador or one of those like, I need to watch what I'm saying type people. Uh, I, I've really struggled with that my whole life. There's certain things about opinions and perspectives and realities that I I can't just hold it in so I don't anticipate being <laughs> a representative of anybody honestly I'd like to help out in other ways just me and the public have a special relationship you'll have to you'll have to adopt um so yeah the channel is really about uh doing some things yourself and then finding other ways to make some stuff work, some great products. Like, these are amazing. I still love these. But then also for theater and movies, the monoliths are doing amazing. 
um, Sonos Faber Lumina 2s, by the way. And then I've just got them running on old receivers right now. This is the 6700H, which is awesome. The two channels are really just a stereo discrete running from an old Denon receiver. That has to get replaced, but at some time, it's not really important right now. Um, the Lumina 2 sound great with this thing, so I can imagine if I upgraded to like a NAD M10 V2, that might be awesome. But then these are like 4 ohms, so I need to make sure that the amplifier I'm using is going to be great. I actually thought about running uh, a mono monoblock scenario, so each speaker gets its own amp, and I'm running like a preamp DAC. If anybody's got ideas, let me know. Each of these items has got to be pretty inexpensive. If I'm running two amps and a unit, I don't want to be spending like $10,000 on that. The speakers were only about $2,000 to $2,500. So the rest of the system has got to be like that in that range. Two amps or like a unit that's about that $2,000, $3,000 range, no more than that. The receiver was like $3,900. The speakers were like way less than that which is amazing i love these things these are really awesome just ignore the cereal bowl i'll fill that up in a minute <laughs> um yeah these turned out really really great the monolith uh monolith encore series those are the c6 and the t6 and the b6 arranged that way because of the monitors i will change that up when i move them into the other room i wanted to get matching towers for the front three and then cover it with an acoustic transparent screen here's the issue i'm having with stereo systems though everything being jammed under that desk anytime i need to change anything even the situation now where i'm trying to reach for my window i can't reach my window and if i have to get in to change in the electronics i have to climb in behind it so now i know why audio files just leave their shit on the floor they just wire everything like out in the open and then they can walk around and change stuff and swap things like that's brilliant. I love the idea of just being able to walk around and just change stuff whenever I need to. So that's the plan. Please give me your feedback. I know this is a very strange video to talk about my space. Just I want to be really honest and no filter about what's going on um that's my level of involvement with the communities i've got years and years and years of experience but have just kind of walked into a situation where i have a, a good job a decent place to live um i haven't figured out all of the other bells and whistles as of yet so planning is always the best and when you can like measure and figure things out ahead of time, you don't waste time doing it more than once, which I can't stand. So yeah, with all of the stuff going on with the noise and my timing, I just need to occupy my mind partially and figure out what I'm gonna do with all my stuff. So yeah, that's the space. So what do we think? Move the room into here. Should this be two channel casual? Leave that the theater. Bedrooms going over there. That's not negotiable, really. Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? It's an apartment, so things have to be a bit temporary. But I think I've kind of figured that out. All of that stuff could be taken down. Oh, the curtains are all just attached with like command strips, so I can pull those down real easy and just move everything to another space. This is just a tension rod, like a shower curtain. So I just put the shower curtain rod across there, attached all the stickers, and then the same fabric all the way around. This, this part in the middle, honestly, this was reserved for like a very interesting sort of diffusion technique. I never really got around to it, so I'm just using the regular two-inch foam pads for the side, you know, not a big deal. Anyhow... I will cut this one short. Let me know what you think of the spaces. I will try to update more with a few more demos and reviews. I need to review the towers because I've had these for a while. The bookshelves still need a formal review after a couple months of use. The theater with the heights, I will do some sort of a review or talk about that. 
And like I said, I need to start loading original content to my channel because YouTube, once they find out that I've got like 80% of my videos have copyright music on them, they're not going to be very happy with me. So I don't anticipate being paid through YouTube, honestly. That's not really my goal. I would rather be hired on as a consultant or if people wish then they could connect with me directly through paypal or patreon because it's a more direct audience and honestly that's the way that i would rather it be because i don't want to be beholden to a company who's got their own agenda for selling i'm more of a truth teller or insight finder i'd like to work for the people uh directly you guys are my real audience you guys are my real goals the companies that design things just need information and if I can get information directly back to them without the middleman, the middle people, the marketing and sales and everybody trying to like skim money off of the middle, then I would rather be that person. They're not going to like me for that, which is why they're never going to pay me. Uh, so I would rather go direct to people. If it's valuable to you, let me know. For now, that's me and that's my room and I'm going to probably do some gaming before work because I'm awake and there's obviously too much noise to sleep through. Lawnmowers, weed whackers, cable pulling in the hallway. They were drilling concrete earlier. It's a nightmare. So, yeah. Here we go. They're right outside my window. Thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Figure something out. <laughs>